welcome back to the channel uh, today you join me down at Kilkern Castle um, up in the Scottish Highlands and uh, yeah it's late October and I wasn't expecting the ground that you have to cross to get to it to be quite so boggy so I'm really having to pick my route carefully along uh, to the shores of uh, Kilkern Castle parked up in um, there's a, 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 a view, Kilkern Castle viewpoint lay-by I think it is rather than the actual car park if you're looking on Google Maps you will find a Google uh, Kilkern Castle car park but you want the viewpoint uh, if you're coming down to take images of the castle with the uh, lock in the foreground so uh, that's the plan anyway and it's looking lovely over there uh, got some nice atmosphere uh, nice low-lying clouds and mist uh, occasionally the light breaks through so hoping to get one or two nice images from there today so uh, we'll carry on picking our route across this boggy land and hopefully get one or two images uh, from this location first shot uh, managed to wake up work our way over to the shores through the boggy land and uh, got the tripod nice and low because there's some nice rocks and reeds in the foreground between us and the castle um, so what I've done is with the 24 to 105 I am at the 24 millimeter end and I'm using a um, circular polarizer um, to cut the glare off the water and uh, the three stops off grad again just to extend the shutter time uh, to try and smooth out that water as best I can because it's quite ripply out there today um, I've taken the shot already and there was a nice bit of light behind the castle which is gone now but three shots focus stacked um, one focus point was on the rock in the immediate foreground uh, the second focus point was uh, towards the reeds in the midground and the third was well, obviously the castle in the background. Now uh, with the uh, power of Photoshop, I'll merge all them together and uh, pop that up on the screen for you now. Well, I've moved around slightly since that uh, first shot and uh, raised the camera slightly. It's not as low as it will go. Uh, I've just raised it up a little bit. I've still got the 24 to 105 on and I am shooting at ISO 100 f10 and it's given me a shutter speed of around five seconds and again I've focus stacked this uh, for the background mid ground and the foreground um, still waiting for some light uh, to, to appear on the castle but uh, we're just having to, to deal with what we're given at the moment but yeah I think it's a nice composition um, and whatever, I'll put the image up on the screen now, you'd be, be the judge of it yourself. For this next image now I've actually got the camera in uh, portrait orientation and doing um, a pano. I've leveled out the legs of the tripod and the head and I've actually zoomed in to about 50 millimeters and I've taken five images going from left to right. Uh, give me ISO 100 F10 and 
the images were about one and a half seconds, 1.6 seconds each. Uh, like I say, five images left to right, and uh, yeah, I might crop it a little bit in post, but uh, I'll put that image up on the screen for you now. Well, I think that's about it from uh, Kilchurn Castle. We've uh, probably been here, I don't know, an hour, maybe two, and uh, waiting for the light that was teasing a little bit, but never actually really came um, and fell nicely on the castle. And it's all getting a bit claggy out there now, and it looks like the weather's moving in. So I think we've probably had the best of the light that we're gonna have. So I think I'm gonna call it a day from this location. But uh, yeah, I hope you liked one or two of the images. Um, if you did, give us a thumbs up, give us a like, consider subscribing. Until next time, take care and uh, see you soon. Cheers. Em.